Hey, everybody. Welcome to today's episode of John Has Trust Issues, where I talk about things related to zero trust and authorization in a few minutes. Short and to the point is the point. I'm John Martinez. I'm the technical evangelist over here at StrongDM, and my trust issues stem from just being and working in the cloud and IT and security and all of those worlds for so many years. Okay, let's get to the topic of today. We're going to talk about again something that I talked about, oh geez, way back in my first episode. Let's rewind a little bit. And that's the continuing attacks on Microsoft by the Russian hacker group called Cozy Bear, also known as APT29. This definitely is a rewind of a few weeks ago. So anyway, Cozy Bear APT29 continues to target Microsoft and other targets to gain stolen credentials and a whole bunch of juicy secrets from Microsoft and others, but mainly Microsoft. And they're continuing their attacks. They're relentless. Um, they've been continuing and they've actually now, has been, has, as has been reported, uh, gotten access to source code uh, and other juicy secrets within the Microsoft environment. Uh, according to some of these reports, uh, no customer credentials or customer secrets have been stolen. Uh, but that, that's what we hear from the reports. Uh, and needless to say, a lot of U.S.-based organizations and entities are extremely upset that this is still happening and we're continuing to watch the situation. So we'll report again if this continues. So how did they do this? Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the tactics that are used in this attack. And for sure, you know, good old fashioned brute force passwords attacks that's been going on. So has authentication token hijacking uh, over on machine accounts, uh, service accounts has been happening as well. And uh, a favorite of mine is MFA bombing and F MFA fatigue, uh, where they continuously send users these just tons and tons of MFA requests. And eventually people get tired and just say, okay, okay, that, that is me. Which in case, which is absolutely not. So, um, so anyway, what can we do to defend against something like this? Well, a couple of things, right? MFA, MFA, MFA. Even though I just said that MFA fatigue is a real thing, uh, and uh, continuously to that point is continuous. Uh, next thing is to continuously authorize privileged sessions. That's a part of this. If you know that you're going to need to access, or your users are going to need to access a database, for example, that's got very delicate secrets or a source code repository, definitely challenge uh, and uh, do things like MFA again, uh, or uh, do location-based context, context awareness, you know, for that particular session. Which brings me to the next point here, and that's device trust as a contextual signal as well, uh, uh, in, in addition to the other context that I was just talking about. Uh, and you can do this with uh, XDR managed devices for authorization purposes. And then finally, implement least privilege everywhere. For all accounts, this includes service accounts. The least privilege it, that you can have is no privileges at all, and then just do privilege escalation, privilege uh, access uh, to those sensitive resources. So that's it. Another episode of John Has Trust Issues. Uh, this episode was brought to you by StrongDM, the dynamic access platform for all of your sensitive and all of your privileged access across your infrastructure. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.